Ready? Who's doing work? Getting into game one, we have uh, lasers versus crouching, which is basically <laughs> what this match is going to be. Yeah, and we're seeing... Um, Ooh, so DP there, he did the full jump back air, but he did the back air on the first frame he was airborne, which actually affects your jump height, so he didn't quite make it to the top platform. First frame problems. Yeah, first frame problems. If you, uh, if you, if you expect to land on that the top platform, but you don't, it can be an issue. That was a beautiful uh, beautiful setup there from Mesa Flakes. And that's, that's why you see Falcos play like so safe and so patient. It's because like, this isn't necessarily a bad matchup, but if you ever mess up, that could happen. Right, Whereas, yeah. like, you're, like, compared to Fox, you don't have as many good tools for just randomly killing Jigs True, to, you're to catch up. Yeah, if he had a, an up smash like Fox, it'd actually be a much more dangerous character, but... And we have, as I'm saying that, he gets a spike kill at, like, 50-ish percent yeah. on uh, Jigglypuff, which is one of, one of the nice ways to pull ahead. True. And it's not like Falco doesn't have tools to kill Puff. Puff is a relatively easy character to kill. It's simply that Fox has it easier, right? <laughs> well, I, I think Fox probably has it the easiest in the game because Jix can't crouch his grab, and then True. Fox has up throw up air to kill, right? Yeah, he has so many killing tools. With Falco, you kind of have to chip away a little bit. And, yeah, uh, he, Fa Falco's up throw up air actually kind of works, but if the Puff is good with her smash TI, it should never really connect. Just a few seconds ago, we saw a bad trade. Welcome to GameStop. And we're seeing uh, Ace of Flakes sort of outspacing like DP's short hop aerials by floating just above, like diagonally above and in front of him. Like there he got a trade, but earlier he was he was facing it such that he could just go over his neutral air. And and that's why you know when when DP has middle stage, a lot of times he's attacking onto the top platform. To to sort of negate that uh that advantage really fucking can get. Right. And one thing that I noticed about this matchup and these kind of matchups is you have to have a lot of mental fortitude. Uh, you have to constantly do the right thing. Like you can't get lazy. Yeah, losing Oh my god, he's gonna Yeah, he's wow, gonna live. Good. All right, very fortunate for Ace of Flakes making it back on. Ooh, nice. And the Let's Go SG has started. I'll never understand it, but I'm starting to like get in it a little bit. I've gotten used to it. First, I was so confused. It's, um, it's because SG, people don't know this, SG stands for steaks and guacamole. Like, you go to um, Chipotle, right? Oh. And when you, when you get steak and guac on your burrito, they write SG on it. Interesting. Right, which is obviously the best burrito. So whenever it somebody is. does something really good, they say SG. Oh, okay. I got it. For yeah, those yeah. of you who are watching at home, or it's like watch a, it's like videos. A1 steak sauce, you know. Oh, let's kind of like A1. that kind of thing. Like, let's go SG. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for explaining it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little uh, CP inside joke. Yeah. Ace of Flakes has a lead right now. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, it's nice. kind of interesting because like. Of Flakes takes good one. The the same thing that let DP get sort of like that his his early kills like pressuring Jigs when she's off stage and stuff like that is also the kind of thing that let him you know let his lead slip away like if he if he changed gears and sort of did went back to running away and lasering once he had the lead I think it's really hard for Jigs to come back yeah that's that sort of that's the sort of matchup this is once somebody gets the lead it's it should they can make it hard for the other character yeah. To, you know, so some, like, there's some matches are really volatile, and then other matches are, like, very just... I don't know the word to describe it. It's just kind of like... It's, a, it's attrition-based, right? Yeah, it's a war of attrition. It's like, uh, if you have these two opposing, like, large army forces, mm. and instead of using cannons or, or missiles or catapults, they're using, like, slingshots back and forth, you know, mm -hmm. for, like, weeks and months and years. <laughs> It's definitely like, definitely feels like a siege when you know Falco's just running away and shooting lasers. Like you can't, you can't breathe. Oh, the standing Ooh, laser's gonna get him. Laser, rest. Yeah. Nope, can't rest. That's the kind of little mistake that can cost Falco a lot. Whereas like, even if Jigglypuff messes up a little bit, 
Falco's big punish isn't gonna kill her. True. She's like she's got that all state insurance, right? Yeah. She's in good hands, you know. She's got the what do they call it? The accident forgiveness. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, accident forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. Like if she makes a mistake, it's like oh well, you got 85 jumps, you know. Mm -hmm. It's on Dreamland. You're gonna be fine. Whereas Falco, it's just he's kind of got that like super ghetto insurance and somebody like some sleazy guy in an old suit and glasses. It's like hey, I give you insurance, you know. Mm -hmm. But he's not super covered, you know. So if he makes a mistake, if he gets an accent, he's usually in trouble. Very strong back air. And really puffs sound I'm liking like I'm liking this style from DP more, where he's he's hanging out in center stage and just using the top platform a lot, and facing away from jigs and back air. Yeah. His back air has that sort of like nice angle where it's it's way harder for jigs to face it. I've noticed that uh, DP is content to shield a lot. So Ace Flick started going for these tomahawks, these like, empty hop grabs. The yeah. Smash 4 technology, they <laughs> call it. Even though it's existed way longer. But I like I like that too, because because earlier DP was like running sort of underneath the side platform the laser, but when he's when he's in the middle stage, it's a lot better for him, because he can force Shiggs to approach and then just dip to the top platform. Like that. Yeah, like he just did there. Now he's under the side platform and it's kind of like dangerous for him, right? He's got to fight his way back to the middle. So I don't, I don't think you ever want to give up that position voluntarily if you don't have to. No. Right now his defense has looked a lot more solid than game one. He's deciding when he wants to approach. He's not allowing Ace of Flakes to approach, approach recklessly at all. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of interesting that DP would pick this stage just based on the way he was playing game one. Like, I think he's playing it correctly, but game one, it did not look like he was interested in fighting a long, drawn-out battle, was, you know? Yeah, that was extremely good spacing on that back a second ago. But the Fountain, or not Fountain, excuse me, the Dreamland 64, Blast Zones are just not going to allow Puff to die anytime soon. <laughs> Although now, oh, see, man. he went for the laser down tilt. But uh, good on Ace of Flakes to angle his shield downward. And see, these are the moments where you have to keep your patience. Right. Like, he already he works so hard to get Jigs up to, you know, a million percent. There's no reason yeah. to go for junky stuff. Yeah, if he had done something extremely risky and got grabbed up throw arrested, all that would have been for naught. Right. We actually have a pretty big crowd watching. Um, we have people pointing, asking, is that really DP? Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't recognize Ace of Flakes. He's got a nice... Uh, He's looking got a nice up. tan going. Yeah, I don't know if he's sunbathing in New York. I don't, I don't know if there's a thing in New York. Looks like he's the one who just came back from Cali, right? Yeah, right. You know, with that tan. But, sorry we're talking about tans, but there, I mean, you're going to see a lot of rinse and repeat stuff. I mean, we could talk about it again every time it happens. Yeah, more lasers. Yeah, more, more lasers. More top platform. <laughs> more neutral. More back airs. Yeah, more down smash. This is kind of like a, a new school versus old school kind of. I mean, DP's not super old school, but at least <laughs> in this particular part, like in the absence of people like DP, Ace of Flakes has really started to make a name for himself and uh, some of the other new blood. And now he, he's like, I'm just gonna t I'm come back and take over. And Ace of Flakes is like, bruh, it ain't happening. You know? You got my you know going. We shall see. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like, like Armada. I hear you, I hear you. Shouts at him. You know, <laughs> DP's playing extremely good right now. He's he's got these walls up, and he's just not like not you know opening the gates at all. Ace Flake's really gonna have to make something happen. He has a chance. That's right a nice here. combo. It's good, good discipline not to just try and go for the rest because when you're this far behind. You can't really afford to trade. You know. Yeah, you can't. You can't like take any risks. DP actually is at a point where he can take Ooh. a little bit of risk if he wants to, but he has no need for it. What he's been doing has been working. Yeah, I mean, there's just, there's no need, right? Like, if you're already this far ahead, as long as you can, like, the longer you draw out the battle, the more likely you are to win. Because even if you're hitting jigs, you know, once every five times she's hitting you, you're still going to win. Yeah, at this point, uh, the person who has to take the risk is Ace of Flakes. But Jigga Buff really isn't that kind of character. Mm -hmm. And at 100 plus percent, it's not looking good for Ace of Flakes. Oh, but there's a mistake there, and that's going to be a stock. That was a good pickup by Ace. I think, yeah. he, I think he tried to um, do the same thing when he was edgeguarding DP earlier, and just like missed the input. Yeah, he flubbed it. All right. 
solid stock lead, almost like a stock and a half lead, pretty much. And less than two minutes left. Indeed, like Ace of Flakes would kind of have a pull, like pull off the miracle. So it's looking right now like we're going to game three. And Ace of Flakes is going to have to think pretty hard about his counter pick. But he has Edgar up to Oh, nice uh, DP to make his way back on. Up tilt's going to do it. Good job from DP. Really uh, sticking to his guns, no pun intended. And uh, just turning the matchup around. So where do you go after that? Like, uh, especially seeing that he's willing to play that he's kind of patient. Yeah. That, like, do you kind of pick yourself, sort of? Go to Yoshi's, you know? Not, not you Yoshi's. I think... Um, he can't go back to Battlefield because he won there. And weirdly enough, I think... FD would be an okay choice just because he doesn't have a platform to use. Yeah, that was one of the things I was nah, giving. I don't know about going back to Dreamland. I don't know if I do. But, you know, Ace of Flakes, he's in the seat, you know. He's in the seat for a reason. I'm commentating. <laughs> I'm just a commentator. Oh, my that's God. A, good that's a good pickup. <laughs> See, now, now that Ace has the advantage, right, like, he could completely change... You know, the, the tone of the game, right? Because now he has the middle stage and, and DP has to come to him instead True. of... True. But it's so back. easy. Like, just like that, like, the percent lead just shift. I like this move Ace is doing now where he's, he's sort of... kind of posturing and then going to the side platform. Just kind of kind of saying, if you go to the top platform, I'll, I'll meet you up there, you know? Yeah. But right now, he's getting kicked. And, uh... Yeah, it's, even though it's behind, I think it's correct to play patient like this, sort of seeing, you know, how, in what Ooh. way DP is trying to cover himself. Yeah, that was a good crotch cancel. I can't believe he crotch canceled after that, that. Sometimes, man, crotch canceling. It's amazing. Sometimes underused at, at this level of play. Mm. It's really important to know when and, and what you can crotch cancel. There you go. Oh, an Ace of Flakes making nice me look clean. like a fool. <laughs> one one thing I've noticed is that uh, when when Ace is hitting DP off and DP can make it back on stage, he always comes back up with an attack. Yeah, um, like a forward air. Yeah, or yeah. or last time he did a laser, and the time before that he did a down air. But I think uh, I think if Ace catches onto that, he can like bait it out and uh, yeah, get, a really get some lower percent there. kills on DP. For those of you who don't know and you haven't been to like the moons. You know, school of like classes and all that. Double laser from the ledge. It's actually not safe. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would have that. Would have never guessed. That could have been. That could have been something. I. It's interesting because Ace is doing a really good job of sort of like cornering DP and, and forcing him to bust a move, but he's not doing a good job. Yeah. Like, I like that expression. Always, yeah, he always bust gets him. <laughs> he always gets him to bust a move, but he's never quite ready to catch him. Yeah. Like, like he, like here he's gonna posture. DP goes to the top platform, but instead of pressuring, he just backs off. And and it's sort of like if that's that's happened uh, two or three times now. And yeah. it's sort of like at some point you have to go for the hard read and just like. Posture here and then up tilt the top platform. Okay, well he did it there and it didn't work, so I, I guess that looks stupid. But it's it's important to say to at least cut off his route to the top platform once because then that sort of forces him to to think about how he's going to get out of trouble. Yeah, because right now like Ace of Lakes is kind of looking like a, a poser, right? I don't mean a poser. I wouldn't say that. I don't mean a poser in the like the classic sense of the poser. I mean like he's going to these just, like positions and he's like posturing as you put it. Like he's going to do a certain thing, and he hasn't been doing it. Right. He's he's getting 90% of the way there. He just has to pull the trigger. Exactly. If I don't know, I, I like the idea. It really looks like he just hasn't honestly played against a Falco like this before. True. And so he's just sort of feeling out, you know, what the what the right strategy is to beat it. Yeah. Um, a veteran player like DP who's played in all kinds of places and against in all kinds of styles and everything. He's not going to be like most of the more green Falcos who will eventually give you opportunities. Right. Just because they can't wait. He definitely is. I don't want to say he will intentionally run the clock out. It's not intentional. But if. <laughs> like, if the opportunity. I mean, he's okay with that. Oh, happening. up, air, that was nice. rest. Ace of Flakes. Turning it around. 
Oh, he dies on top. And we have a tight battle. And all it looks of a sudden, this got much more interesting. It looks like, like Ace. Yeah. And this is going to set the tone for the rest of the tournament. Phantom back air. He definitely... Oh my god, gets a grab! DP. DP's getting those DIs. He's, that's the number one thing on his mind right now. Is like, don't get, yeah. don't get up for a rest. That's not a good way to go out. Like, I think, I think Ace has figured out how conceptually to fight this kind of camping. Yeah, la last time uh, Ace was in this situation, he got a quick combo, uh, DP did, and then just took the lead. And this day, he, you know, he took the lead again, percent wise. Right. But I don't think the but lead. But this is this is last talk, right? This yeah. is all comes uh -oh. down to one big one big hit from Jigs. <gasps> oh my God! And he takes it. Wow. That was a good, good tomahawk, sort of like. Wow. Welcome back, DP. I, I guess I was kind of surprised that he went for the tomahawk at the end there, wow. just because like DP wasn't giving him any opportunities to tomahawk <laughs> up until that point. And as soon as he saw it, he grabbed it. So it was like, wow. It's pretty, pretty good composure uh, from, uh, from Ace, keeping his head in the game the whole time. Th that was, uh, that's pretty impressive. I, I liked it. Oh, right. I said I wanted to play next. All right. So uh, Peanut Phobia is going to be against Scrap Metal next on stream.